Volkswagen dealers welcome Idaho 7 delay. Volkswagen of America has announced that it was delaying the launch of the ID7 premium electric sedan in the United States. Initially, the ID7 was planned for a U.S. launch in Q3. Volkswagen dealers in the country, however, do not seem to be in any hurry to sell the upcoming E-Versus, as noted in a comment to Automotive News, John Luciano, a Volkswagen dealer in Texas, and a member of the Volkswagen National Dealer Advisory Council, noted that most VW dealerships actually welcomed the ID7's delay. Luciano stated that during a meeting with Volkswagen, dealers expressed their concerns about consumer demand for the ID7. We brought up a little bit of caution behind it. Are we sure this is a good idea? Dot. We didn't know an exact pricing, but it's definitely a $50,000 to $60,000 car without incentives. Is there any chance of it being competitive? Dot. And we felt like it's not, the Volkswagen dealer noted. Luciano also hinted that Volkswagen dealers were a bit disappointed with the ID7, which is a premium sedan. He noted that Volkswagen dealers had the impression that the ID7 would be a vehicle that's inspired by the ID Space Vision concept from 2019, which was futuristic, sleek, and spacious. When dealers saw the ID7 last year, however, they were shown a sedan. While the ID7 features large back seats and ample cargo room, it's still pretty much a sedan, Luciano noted. Anthony Scala, another Volkswagen dealer from Chicago, echoed Luciano's concerns. He observed minimal customer interest in the ID7 compared to the upcoming ID Buzz electric minivan, which is the spiritual successor to the iconic Volkswagen microbus. In Scala's view, a luxury electric sedan exceeding $50,000 would struggle to compete in a market that already has entries from Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and BMW. I just don't think an expensive electric sedan is in the cards for most Americans right now. North of $50,000 for a sedan that doesn't have the star logo, the Ring logo, or the BMW logo, dot. It's a non-starter, Scala noted. Ultimately, Luciano noted that the timing wasn't right for the ID7, as launching the car in the United States now would have likely required notable investments to move inventory. The fact that the ID7 is also built in Germany meant that the vehicle would not be able to qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit. We would love to have more models. We have always wanted to have more models, but we need models that will actually get out into the market and work. But that wasn't going to work with no incentives, he said. Source, reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla Roddy.